on planet Earth, the electromagnetic spectrum is predominant. And this is why we observe death and disease and decay. If we lived in an environment of 100% scalar energy, there would not be death. You would be eternal. There would be no, no degradation of signal. There would not be any confusion or any, any uh, disorder, so to speak. So you could see why I want the world to shift to a scalar energy paradigm, free energy, clean from the sun and the stars. And this download of energy, this administration of energy is, is life enhancing. It's enhanced my lifestyle incredibly to the point that I think I have slowed down my aging process. In today's busy world, how can we find the inspiration, knowledge, and energy to live a healthy and empowered life if we balance and harmonize our mind, exercise our body, live according to the laws of nature, and connect to spirit, can we find a way to heal, become our authentic self, and live our purpose with love? I am your hostess, Amy Fournier, and welcome back to Awakening Aphrodite. What if I told you we've learned that we can capture and harness the energy of the universe, the energy of actually consciousness itself, the original source of all of life, often known as life force, chi, prana, the sun's energy. Wow, you're gonna love the show today with my guest, Tom Palladino. Before we get into the show, I just wanted to thank Meryl Kay for your beautiful review of my show on Apple iTunes, which I really appreciate you taking a few minutes to leave for me. She says, awakening it is. Thank you, Amy. What a refreshing take on every guest and topic you bring in. This is just the perfect time to nourish our souls listening to your podcast. Shine your light bright. You got it, Marilyn. I'm doing my best and I hope you're shining yours bright too, my friend. And what an appropriate review for today's topic. We're talking about light. You've heard me say in our episodes, we really need to take the holistic view of all of life in that to be whole and complete in everything that we potentially can be. We have to look beyond just the ingredients of our diet and moving the body and getting to sleep and drinking water, which are all critical. But we have to think bigger than that because we now know that the sound we expose ourselves to, the light, the temperature, the shapes, all of these things are energy energy. It's all about energy. They're just in different forms. And not only that, but they are information and instructions for the cells in our body, our DNA to operate. They're not just like in foods example, calories. Okay. They're actually like a blueprint for what the cells are supposed to do. Again, light, sound, all of these things are ingredients. So I was so happy when my guest, Tom Palladino, agreed to come on the show. Tom is a scalar energy researcher and inventor. He has over 25 years of experience in developing healing technologies that are designed to help people all over the world to recover from pathogenic infection and to also increase their true health and wellness. I mean, his technology has helped people get over AIDS, get over viruses, yes, that virus too, herpes, pathogens, fungus, cancer, different various illnesses, lose weight, look younger. You should see this guy. He looks like he's about 40. <laughs> it's just incredible. And his story began years ago, back in his undergraduate days, when he became inspired by the research of the work of various scientists. And he explored particularly the work of Nikola Tesla. And he really just took it from there and teaches us about how we can harness the power of the sun, the power of consciousness, and how we can then utilize it to enhance our own lives. So my friend, guess what? You've probably heard it before. You are starlight. That's right. So now we know how to capture that very source energy that made you that starlight original energy and harness it to help enhance our lives. So let's now join Tom Palladino. Tom Palladino, welcome to Awakening Aphrodite with Amy Fournier. Thank you for the invite. 
All right. Can you tell us where you're located and your story, who you are, what you're doing in the world and what you got into this line of work? My name is Tom Palladino. I am a scalar energy researcher. I live in the state of Florida. And I want to share with the audience this prospect, this new technology, scalar energy, what some people call zero point energy. It's a, uh, it's a gift from God. And this technology, I, I forecast, will change our lifestyle. It will improve the human condition the world over. That's really what I want to key in on, this, this new technology that will be a benefit to everybody. First of all, how long have you been doing this new mm-hmm. technology you're calling scalar energy? In theory, uh, 50 years, in practice, now 30 years. So you can't be that been, old, Tom. You can't be yeah. that old. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I'm, I'm 61 years of age. That's so. crazy. Well, there you go. Fountain of youth, everybody. You got to check out the YouTube <laughs> it's Awakening Aphrodite podcast, Fit Amy TV, to check out how young he looks. That's insane. Oh, my God. I love it. I, I, I just love when I bring people on the show who are just living examples of things that work. You can't argue with results. And here we go. Yeah. There you go. Thank you so much. So, yes, please. I want to underscore that everybody can benefit from this technology. So listen closely and you will see how this will soon have a global impact. I mean every word of that a global impact. Let's start with basics, Tom. What is scalar energy? You know, everybody's an expert with scalar energy. It's sunlight or starlight. It's the initial energy of the universe. Scalar energy is the initial energy. And therefrom, we have electricity and magnetism. So if we're looking at this from a, a universal standpoint, it's the life force. It's the animating force of all activity, scalar energy. And that's why it's so important. It serves as the the energy of the universe. It serves as the instructions of the universe. What is light? Light is much more than than fire and heat, so to speak. It is the carrier wave of intelligence or information. And that's what scalar energy is. It serves as the information of the universe. It serves to give order out of chaos. So important to understand that concept. I love that. And, you know, the way I look at it is light, like food, like sound, like shape is information. This is what people have to get clear. And I even talk about this with diet and exercise and stuff. This is all instructions for your body. The food you eat are instructions for your cells what to do. The light, the frequency you're exposed to are instructions for your cells what to do or not to, as is sound. So this is a big reason why I wanted you on my show. And I thought you'd be a perfect fit for my audience to help educate us on how light is instructions and information for our cells. Can you just expand a little bit more on the physiology of what that means? How does light instruct our cells what to do or not do? If we look at light, first and foremost, it's fundamental, meaning what? It's, it's a direct cause or it's, it's directly from God. And in so doing, it observes fundamental laws. Now, if you look at the effect, which would be our physical body, our emotional body, that all derives from this first cause of scalar energy, meaning what? Scalar energy is the driving, the motivating force, and the effect, our physical well-being, our mental well-being, our spiritual well-being, it really is, is results therefrom. So if we look at this from a cause and effect standpoint, scalar energy is the cause of sound health, spiritual health, mental health, physical health. And I can attest to that after working with this energy for years, it it has abetted my health and has abetted the health of people around the world. Why? Because we're working with a primal force in nature. And when you work with a primal force in nature, you control nature. Nature is subservient to you. And that's what I propose. Scalar energy allows us to control, have mastery over nature. We'll explore that. Okay, so we're calling what is thought of as the original source energy, scalar energy. Okay, so just so we're clear on terms for everybody and for me to wrap my brain around this. The original source energy, otherwise commonly now referred to as chi or prana or life force, also referred yes. to as sunlight, 
starlight. This is all synonymous words we're using, interchangeable. Also referred to as the BG3 energy, which I'm trained in as a biogeometry practitioner. These are all the same source energy. And you're saying that you, basically your method, and you're going to tell us more about the instruments that you use in mm -hmm. your work that you've actually engineered yourself, actually right. helps to uh, focus and regulate this original life force energy to help heal people in their individual lives, right? That's exactly right. So this is the life force energy of the universe, as, as you've mentioned, chi and prana or other synonymous terms. Uh huh. And, and in so doing, it, it's not a movement of electrons. That's an electrical current. Scalar energy is consciousness. It's, it's a much more of a refined, a, a, it's a perfect energy, a perfect source of light. So now we are working with what we would call the, the very essence of the universe, the instructions of the universe. It's much more powerful than electricity. It's much more versatile than electricity. Electricity really is, a, is an inferior type of energy. In fact, electricity is a derivative of it, correct? Yes, correct. Correct. The first energy is scalar energy. That's yep. from our sun and our, our stars. Mm -hmm. And electricity is the derivative or the degradation of that scalar wave. So now we can better understand why the stars never burn out. They're powered by scalar energy. We look at why we as people, why we experience entropy or disease and death, because we do not possess that scalar energy. So consider this model. If the stars are eternal, I say that they are, then why are we not eternal? Because the stars are powered exclusively by scalar energy. Whereas mankind, we are subject to electromagnetic energy, which is chaos or disease and death. Funny you should say that, because one of my questions was, is I know that we are derivatives of starlight. We're made of the same stuff. So I was going to ask you, why then we are inherently full of the scalar energy with no problems. And I'm thinking, well, probably because we do a bunch of stuff that screws it up along the yeah, way. Yeah. So I was going to ask you about that. You know, if you look at the this new advent of 5G, some people herald it as being a great technological advancement. Well, it's going to have biological consequences, sad biological consequences, because those frequencies have been proven thus far to be inimical. To human health so you know you, you have to weigh this in the balance and you have to say to yourself what type of energy are you working with mm -hmm. and I, I i go on record by saying after my work and after the work of my predecessors we've only seen glowing reports we've only seen favorable reports by working with scalar energy i don't think it has a drawback it, it's the life force of the universe whereas electricity and magnetism that entails entropy, which is the degradation or the, the falling apart or, or the collapse of the system. So I contend that scalar energy is the perfect energy and hence it has perfect instructions and the outcome is perfection. Well, if it's divine, it certainly is perfection, right? It is the definition. Right. So, okay. So speaking of your predecessors, tell us a little bit about how you came about this and your, um, your mentor uh nicholas tesla who obviously you haven't met but you studied under and you took his you're, you're walking on his shoulders so to speak yes i am yes i stand upon the shoulders of tesla now what am i getting at nikola tesla was one of the first i believe the first person to harness scalar energy and one of the few uh true and and accurate scalar energy scientists very few men have ever developed scalar energy instruments Tesla was one of them. And I, I studied Tesla as a youngster and I was enthralled with his work and I knew he was onto something unique. Uh, many of his inventions have never been duplicated due to the reason that nobody has been able to develop scalar energy instruments. We develop AC electrical instruments, but not scalar instruments. So my point is Tesla and a few other scientists have developed scalar energy instruments and that sets them apart. There are very few scientists who've perfected this groundbreaking approach to physics, if you will. Oh, so other scientists have. A man by the name of Thomas Moray and Galen Hieronymus, those are two American inventors. But other than that, I, I can count on both hands the number of scientists who've perfected this type of instrumentation to control it. Now, what am I getting at? 
Well, you, you can theorize all day long, which is fine, but proving the crowning jewel is have you developed instruments and have you been able to practice with this energy? You know, I, I use this analogy. It's the difference between reading a book on golf and actually becoming a great golfer and practicing golf. Anybody can read a book on golf. That doesn't mean you're adept at playing golf. The, the, the challenge is to go out there and prove that you're a golfer. Are you the only one that actually has instruments that harness scalar energy? Um, as from my advantage point today, yes. Wow. With the exception of one man by the name of Constantine Mel, who's a, a researcher and a scientist in Europe. And what I have achieved and what Constantine Mel has achieved, I think is indicative of a scalar energy spectrum. There are other instruments that I've seen that are working with electricity. That's, that's not the science. So, I, and I'm not saying this to, to in any way you know, besmirch anybody or, or, or to, to play the role of elitism. That's not me. I, I will underscore that this is very difficult that in order to follow this science, you have to learn from the masters, Tesla and, and Hieronymus are two of the masters. And um, their work is quite unique and it has nothing to do with electricity. This is not electromagnetic in character. So I met with the uh, Hieronymus, I never met him, the, the inventor, but I met with his wife, Sarah Hieronymus, and she turned over the laboratory to me. Whoa. Yeah, she sold the instruments to me and she Whoa. gave me access to his notes. So Whoa. I learned from Galen Hieronymus, one of the few prominent scalar energy researchers, and I had that head start. And I could, I could assure the audience what I've discovered is not electricity. It's, it's not magnetism. So it's a, it's a very narrow branch of science. It's a new chapter in physics. It is, it's not um, an electrical current. And you have to learn. You, you have to study from, from the masters. And Tesla yes. and Hieronymus were, were the two men that I stand upon their shoulders. And without them, I, I would not be here today. So why didn't the work of... Tesla, who you know, had that famous theory, the 369 theory, which he propounded was the, was the key to understanding the universe, and Hala's wonderful work. Why, in your opinion, is that not a prominent part of our modern culture today? What's going on there? Well, it's suppression. This technology is suppressed. Consider the fact that the day that Nikola Tesla died, the U.S. government raided his apartment. Wow. And and confiscated his notes and his inventions. And mm -hmm. the world has never seen his inventions or his notes. Now, wow. that was not their property to confiscate. He was a private, he was a citizen of the United States and his family should have inherited those notes and those inventions, they did not. And what's quite peculiar is those notes and those inventions have never been released. Now, why would the federal government confiscate a scientist notes in their, their inventions. For what point? Why they're doing it right now. That's why, why they've always done it and keep doing it. <laughs> right, right. You know, let, let me just cut to the chase. This yep. technology is free energy. Remember, if scalar energy is from the sun and the stars, the new power plant of the future will be the sun and the stars. So we don't need a power plant in a nuclear reactor we don't need to drill for oil. We don't need to dig for coal. The new power source are the sun and the stars. Now, with that in mind, this is free energy. And this is what Tesla was able to demonstrate, the, the transmission of wireless scalar energy that could power, that could be used to generate power. Now, that is a threat to the military industrial complex. To, to say that you have free power, that an unlimited uh, source of power, that is the threat to many people in, in big business. And obviously, just to be clear, we're not talking about solar energy or wind power right. and all this stuff. This is completely different, just so people are clear. Correct. That's right. Yeah. That's right. All right. Now, how is this different than photobiomodulation? Something that we hear about a lot. There is no physical component to scalar energy. It's not a photon, which has been shown to have mass. It's not an electron. Scalar energy is massless. I believe it is a divine energy. It's, it's an essence. It's, it's a, 
consciousness, if you will, as opposed to any other type of um, energy, if it's of the electromagnetic spectrum, it has some type of mass and it has a, a limit of 186,000 miles per second as far as the speed. So if you take all that into consideration, uh, electromagnetic energy is limited. Scalar energy is, is everywhere. It's an omnipresence. It's not limited by space and time. I believe everybody, I believe every human being, I believe all biological life has two components, scalar energy and electromagnetic energy animated. But today in, on planet Earth, the electromagnetic spectrum is predominant. And this is why we observe death and disease and decay. If we lived in an environment of 100% scalar energy, there would not be death. You would be eternal. There would be no, no degradation of signal. There would not be any confusion or, or any, any uh, disorder, so to speak. So you could see why I want the world to shift to a scalar energy paradigm, free energy, clean from the sun and the stars. And this download of energy, this administration of energy is, is life enhancing. It's enhanced my lifestyle incredibly to the point that I think I have slowed down my aging process. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. All right. So. Tom, how does this work? I'm sure everybody listening and watching is like, all right, how do you harness this though? How do you take the energy from the sun and the stars? Tell us how you're yeah. actually doing it. it. It's the engineering feat of, of Dr. Hieronymus and um, uh, Nikola Tesla. And I will also add, I'm working with a brilliant engineer. And we have developed scalar energy instruments that harness that spectrum of energy. This is not a movement of electrons. It's, it's the omnipresence, scalar energy is the, the essence of the universe. And it's quite subtle. In order to be able to harness this energy, my, this room, my living room is filled with scalar energy, but you have to harness it. And that's the key. That's the very liquidity of the matter. And how do you I do have, that? Uh, by, by technology. Follow, by a physical machine like a physical piece of equipment yes. is what you're saying yes. that you yes. built yes this is a that's correct this is a scientific advancement okay. we i have scalar energy instruments that harness that energy so these are scientific instruments that introduce to the world this concept of scalar energy which is another spectrum of energy and it's, it's taken me a lifetime to perfect this and then to use it to be able to demonstrate this that this has health benefits so with that in mind, we're at the state of the science, so to speak, where I'm now willing and, and ready to pronounce my discoveries to the world. That's why I take this occasion with you, and I thank you, Amy. I want to show the world the merit of this technology. And how do you do that? You have to prove it. And, and what, what have we been able to prove? Well, before we get into that, I want to make this very clear. Um, when I work with people, I work with people by way of a photograph. Um, I'm holding up my photograph. What am I getting at? A scalar energy instrument works through a photograph of a person because a photograph has their energy field. It has their scalar energy fingerprint, so to speak. And hence, I'm working with the energetic copy of a person. I never work with biological life. I only work with an energetic copy, which is a photograph of a person or an animal. And through that photograph, I've been able to break down or, or disassemble microbes such as bacteria, parasites, viruses found in, the, in that dimension, found through that photographic identification. So a photograph of a person contains their real-time constitution, including, let's say they had the herpes virus. That could be identified on a person's photograph. And then submitting scalar energy to that photograph and scalar energy acting upon that force field of the photograph, we can destroy, we can break apart the herpes virus. So that's, that's quite profound. Yes, it is. That's quite profound. It is fascinating. And that's one of the, the things that I've discovered with this energy. It, everybody's photograph is the real-time report card. It's, the, it's if you will, their bilocated uh, substitute. And in so doing, we're able to uh, eradicate microbes, toxins, pollutants, or in, in 
in reverse, we're able to create a micronutrient, a vitamin, an amino acid, an antioxidant. So remember what I said previously, that scale energy allows us to have control over nature. I, I've developed a technique which I can control a microbe, a germ. I can break apart any microbe, any germ. That offers great promise to mankind. Okay, there's a lot there. First of all, so what you do is you have a physical instrument, piece of equipment in your home. Yes. People, yes. you're basically treating people remotely. They send in yes. a photograph digitally, and then you treat their photograph with your instrument with scalar yes. light that basically brings the perfect divine harmonizing conscious life force energy into their being in real time yes. and harmonizes yes. them, whether they have pathogens, viruses. I know it's treated a bunch of different things. So can you maybe actually just quickly mention some of the things that you've had the most success with? Sure. We, we have great success with with all types of what I would consider pathogenic infections, such mm -hmm. as um, the herpes virus. I, I show, I can go on record by stating that in my laboratory, I can identify and break down the herpes virus in my lab. I have great success breaking down the HIV virus, the hepatitis virus. So uh, I've, I've developed this technique whereby in total, I probably have the ability to break down, to identify and break down, disassemble over 400,000 species of germs, microbes. Now, this has been my life's work, and that is not hyperbole. I, I stand by that statement. And the reason I can make that statement is when I'm working with light, which is fundamental, I have fundamental control over the molecular constitution, the molecular geometry, if you will, of a microbe. And working with these light instruments, I have mastery over their, their molecular bonds. I can negate the molecular bonds of germs, of microbes. And in so doing, I can break down, I can transmute, I can disassemble microbes. So I believe what I've discovered will, will be of great benefit once the world realizes my work in order to eradicate, to, to solve, to to be able to transmute these, these pathogens that people are infected with. But when you're saying that you have the ability to do these things, I'm not really clear because how, how do you know the individual? I mean, you must be treating thousands and thousands yes. of photographs. So how do yes. you know the exact uh, coordinates for, to set your machine to? Or isn't it more, or I would imagine yeah. it's more you setting the machine and letting the divine intelligence Restore correct. harmony. Correct, correct. What, what, when I'm saying that I'm working as the, the operator, God okay. is the healer. God is the healer. Yep. But you're First not foremost, you're not trying to figure out like, oh, this individual needs this to correct. come into bed. Okay. No. All right. Why well, it's the be, it's the oh, it's the intelligence <laughs> of the instrument that yep. can ascertain, okay. if you will, the molecular bonds of say mm. the herpes virus and yep. break down yep. the herpes virus. So this this wow. is my point. When mm. we when let's say when we program a computer, we're not performing the work the computer is. We simply program the computer. Now, ah. by way of analogy, I've programmed my scalar energy instrument. And the programming is to destroy, to seek out and destroy potentially now 400,000 species of germs. So the animating force is always scalar energy. That's the intelligence. Now, the, the point I'm getting at is, mm -hmm. This is a masterful way of controlling, breaking down, transmuting, eradicating, call it what you will, microbes. It's a painless process. It's done by way of light or information. There's no drawback, there's no side effect. So with this scalar energy instrument, once again, working through the, the animated light energy of a photograph of a person. I only work with email photographs of people and animals. Working through that photographic dimension, which is a scalar energy dimension, I could work with anybody in the world. I can identify their force field. I can identify subsequently the microbes within that force field, and I can break down those microbes in that force field. I think it's amazing. Uh, just for the record, everyone, uh, Charlotte and I are on the program. So uh, Tom has both Charlotte and my digital pictures. We've been doing it now for a few weeks or maybe actually more than that. Gosh, and I'll just share a per personal anecdote is uh, 
when I uh, last time I went to visit Paul Check, my my good friend and my my coach, uh, which is how I found you, by the way, Thomas through Paul. He's like, you got to have Tom on your show. I'm like, okay. Uh, I actually uh, obviously had to fly to uh, where he is in California. I've been I've known Paul for probably 30 years. Okay, just going on three decades here, and seen him many 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 times. But this trip for about a day or two after I had landed, I was coughing. I was coughing. I had this weird cough. Now I am never sick. Okay, I am I am healthy, knocking on my head right here. And uh long story short, we couldn't figure out what the heck it was. I'm like, did you spray something? Whatever. Of course, Paul, everything's dialed in, natural organic, the whole deal. And uh I realized one night, I was like, wait a minute. I signed up for the scalar energy treatment. And I think what was happening was by flying on a plane, a small tube for almost seven hours, I think my immune system and my lungs were detoxifying a lot of stuff. So when I landed, I was coughing a lot. It was the only thing I could think of. And sure enough, it did go away. And I mentioned it to Paul and he's like, that's definitely what it is. So I think scalar energy was working on me and little Charlotte. Does that make sense? Yes, yes, it does. Um, and that's the beauty of this therapy, this this protocol. Again, I work with people exclusively by way of their photographs. You could be in a plane, you could be playing tennis, you could be traveling in Europe. This energy will find you anywhere mm -hmm. you're located. And, so and just a, take care of whatever is your situation. It will harmonize you. Yeah. Like for me, my lungs needed yeah. the attention is what I'm getting at. I didn't have other things, but apparently I must have had some pathogens, as you mentioned. Exactly. And that's how simple it is. You submitted a photograph. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Now, yep. instead of doing, we don't ask people to change your lifestyle. You don't have to change your diet. You don't have to exercise in a particular fashion. You just go about your normal, everyday lifestyle. This is global healing. This is the global ministry that I envision to be able to work with everybody in the world by way of their photograph. Now, I was going to ask you about that. So I got to stop you right there because I was going to ask you, can this override poor lifestyle choices? For example, let's say someone wants to get healthier or they mm -hmm. want to lose weight or they want to cut back on drinking and they sign up for Scalar Light and they submit their photo but they just keep doing their normal routine of being stressed out all day, you know, eat, not eating all day, stuff in their face at night, doing the quick takeout meal, not sleeping, drinking too much to try to relax. Yeah. Will scalar light still work if they don't change any of that? Scalar light will always work because it's a fundamental force in nature. You, you cannot stop a fundamental force in nature, but this is not a substitute for, um, what I would consider lackadaisical dietary habits or, or, or uh, poor health choices. So work hand in hand with this. This is not a substitute to, to live a, a carefree life. It's, okay. it's crucial that people have a, a balanced diet. It's crucial that people go back to nature. Please avoid junk food. I mean, it's so obvious. Get your rest, okay? Exercise in moderation and, and I would, well, I do that myself. So I, I practice what I preach. Okay. Meaning what? That scalar energy is going to abet your health regardless of your station in life and regardless of your, your current uh, state of health. But imagine how much more effective this would be if you ate organic food, natural foods. If, if you achieve the rest that you need, if you avoid um, the excess of alcohol, and, and smoking and, and illegal drugs. Take care of yourself. It's it's so much easier and it's so much more joyful in life to be free of all those encumbrances, to get those vices out of your life. That's the prison that some people live in. Junk food, um, um, to be blunt, junk food is a prison. It, it's it's really, it's, it's a sad way to, to live and a sad way. Enjoy food. Food is delicious. But sadly, our, our society has, has not uh, really grasped the fact of how, how nutritious, not only nutrition, but delicious food really is. Amen. Amen. Well said. So just a kind of a silly question, but since scalar light is the energy and consciousness of the sun and stars, 
How is it different than someone just going out in the sunshine? It, it, it's identical. It's identical. And the only advantage that I have is I have an instrument which I can pinpoint. I can instruct the instrument specifically how to use that sunlight and starlight. So many people have asked me that question, and I encourage people, try to, to go outside every day for, for the sake of vitamin D, for the sake of your health, and get some sun on your body. Regardless of where you live, you can get some sun usually on, on any day. All of this joy is, draws to mind that if you look at our, our world, the biological life, it's dependent upon sunlight. Okay? You, you can call that heliotropism, you can call that what you will. Yes, the, the sun, which is scared or energy, is the source of life. I, I frequently look at um, the, the makeup of a scalar wave, which is a double helix, which is the, the same double helix that our DNA is composed of. Meaning what? I believe scalar energy is the cause of genomic form, the cause of our DNA. And if that theory is correct, then scalar energy is the download of instructions. Our DNA is a standing scalar wave. I'm so glad you said that about the sun. I'm constantly saying that to people that do not be afraid of the sun. You need the sun to live. We evolved with the sun. We wouldn't be here without the sun. Take off your sunglasses. The, the sun, the full spectrum light needs to hit your retina to go to your pineal gland to produce your melatonin and all the other hormones and neurotransmitters right. that run your whole body, not only your mood, but your sleep and your circadian rhythms and all of that. So. We need the sun, and I love, I never know the double helix. That's yeah. fascinating. The more I learn about the sun, the more I'm like, it is all about the sun. It, it, all of that underscores the fact that light is fundamental. Yes. It's the first cause, and everything else follows. So if, if, if you want to dictate to nature, it, follow the dictation, so to speak, of, of light, of energy, scalar energy. It's the first cause, and therefrom we have biological consequences, biochemical consequences, emotional consequences. Uh, the the king of the hill is scalar energy. It's light. That's it's the, the king original of the hill. source. So yeah, that's, that's the, it. Okay, so Tom, what is your end game here? What is your mission in life? I know you have a big mission. Okay. Ex ex share it with us. What that is? Okay, uh, um, I, I want to help in humanity. I'm a I'm a Christian, I'm a humanitarian. I want to treat the world with scalar energy by way of their photograph. I'd love to treat a billion people a year. It's not difficult if people get involved. Today in my laboratory, I treated at least 150,000 people by way of their photograph. I Today I received over uh, 200, 300 photographs from Uganda, and I'm working with people around the world. Uh, yesterday, I received over a thousand photographs from India. Meaning what? People from around the world send us photographs. So this is the global healing ministry. And the day is coming, and I predict, and you can hold me to this, the day is coming that we will eventually treat a billion people a year by way of their photograph. But Tom, how do you how do you actually physically do that? You have a machine, a physical machine. I mean. You're what are you just like yeah. just spitting through photos like one per millisecond? Like how do you, you actually do that? You you can miniaturize the photograph. Oh. And then when I treat, I treat everybody simultaneously as a group. So the instrument can easily work with, say, I don't know, five, ten million people at a at a session. Easily. Wow. So I, I don't treat one person at a time, I treat okay. people as a group. Yeah. Today, I treated 150,000 people as a group. I collected all the photographs in, if you will, a folder. I actually and Charlotte and I were in there. Charlotte yes, and I you were. were. <laughs> You're one of the 150,000. Cool. And to be, I'm oh, not being condescending, it was a piece of cake. It's easy. Yeah. Yeah. I easily treated 150,000 people because we, we have automatic photo uploaders. I don't take the photographs. Yeah. Yeah. The computer will, if you will, format these photographs on collages we can assemble the photographs on a collage like i'm holding up and it, it's it's really just it's a numbers game if i can treat 150,000 people without breaking a sweat in one day once the role gets involved we'll, we'll easily treat a million people now i'm okay. not going to take the photographs 
I, I'm not going to promulgate this to, to 187 countries around the world. I need yeah. people to help. And that was my next question. You have the machine, you're one human being, okay. you have a big ministry, a big heart mission to help treat everybody and share the healing energy of scalar light. But how do you scale that, Tom? Is your goal to eventually teach other people that have integrity how to build their own machines so they can help treat the world? You mentioned something, it does take integrity. And to cut to the chase, um, I don't intend to sell or market these instruments because there's too much of a liability. So okay. what do I envision? A group of people working together, it's a grassroots effort, and we will have one central location where we, we treat people um, throughout the world. Oh. And that one central location um, will, will have a number of computers and, and printers that will work throughout the day printing out photographs, collages, if you will. And I, I predict on the day is coming that we'll eventually receive half a million photographs a day. So we're from today until, until that uh, point in time, who knows what is going to happen and what will transpire. But I do predict that the day is coming that we will be able to treat uh, hundreds of millions of people throughout the world. But what about when Tom Palladino is no longer here? Like what, what how is right. this going to continue? Like, are you, who's going to protect this equipment and yeah. make sure it doesn't get in the wrong hands? And how are you going to be then training the next Tom Palladino? Yeah, uh, you're right. Uh, I have a contingency plan set up. Okay. Uh, as, as far as training other people, sadly, nobody's approached me to make a serious lifetime commitment to this. Now, this is work. This has taken me a lifetime to, uh, to understand this. And unless you want to fall in the footsteps of Tesla and Hieronymus and devote your life, those men devoted their lives. This is a work ethic. And if you don't have a work ethic, I don't know if you're going to be successful. So uh, I, I don't dissuade anybody, but uh, I'll be quite candid. It's, it's not easy. Not of course easy. not. I think anybody that's on a heart mission... As, as I understand me as well, it's it's not easy. It's it's certainly not easy. But, you know, one thing I've learned in the last two years of my life, and I've always been an extremely hard worker to the point where I had a complete burnout and midlife crisis, borderline nervous breakdown, <laughs> that I've always been service minded, uh, but unfortunately at the expense of myself. But now what I've learned in the last two years is there's a difference between labor and labor with love. You know, something being a labor of love, different. Otherwise, it's just labor, you know, so yeah. you when there's love in what you do, and I'm sure you get tons of feedback with the people you've helped. I'm sure that yeah. keeps wind in your sails. It, it, it does. I'll, I'll speak to that point. A week and a half ago, we received um, firsthand testimony, firsthand feedback from people in Tanzania. I work with people around the world once again. And in uh, 2017, we worked with people in Tanzania who are HIV positive. And I just received their test results and I just received their testimonies just a week and a half ago. Everybody, everybody has been cured of HIV. Not one person. This is their report. It's not my report. Wow. Everybody, cool. everybody is without the HIV virus, no viral load. Everybody, wow. in their words, not my words, has been cured of HIV. Now, I'm not afraid to, to, to mention this, but Keep in mind, I have to rely upon people's feedback. I can prove my work in my laboratory with a photograph. Yeah. I have to rely upon people who live at, in a, at a distance, in this case, Tanzania. People have to provide their firsthand testimony as to how they feel. And um, over 10 individuals have come forward and they said, we don't have the HIV virus anymore. And our, our doctors are are quite puzzled as to why we're no longer HIV positive. So, all right, getting toward the end here, this has just been amazing. I'm just, I, I just have goosebumps. I'm just so excited by, by your work and that it's just truly helping so many people. How beautiful, how brilliant yeah. of you to really harness this. Um, so I would say to people, what do you get to lose, right? Yeah, and you're going to explain to us this amazingly generous free offer that you're going to give my listeners for them to participate. I mean, it's like, what do you get to lose? It takes you what, 10 minutes, not five, five minutes, three minutes to send in a digital photo, just sign up, give it 
the trial and see if anything changes. But before you explain that, how do we know that if they do experience any changes, that maybe they can attribute it to the scalar light treatment and not maybe, oh, I actually started a new supplement during that time as well. Like how would they know how to attribute it to the scalar yeah. light? You don't, unless you're working exclusively with this program and you you have not incorporated another modality into your into your well-being. So to, to cut to the chase, our website, scalarlight.com, anybody in the world can sign up by emailing your photograph. Remember, we work with your photograph only, scalarlight.com. For 15 days, free of charge, we'll work with you with a scalar energy instrument. We will balance your chakras. We will, um, if you will, uh, eradicate germs, microbes, and we'll also assemble nutrients. All of that is done by way of a scalar energy instrument. You do not have to change your lifestyle. I encourage you to live uh, uh, according to the rubrics of sound health. But the beauty of scalar energy is we work with you with this life force energy, this enhancing energy. And, and you don't have to uh, do anything. Just allow the healing to take place. So no belief or buy-in is necessary, Tom. They, they can That's just correct. say, well, I'll give it a shot. They don't have to think like, okay, this yeah. is going to work. Yeah, that, that's correct. So we don't rely upon people's auto-suggestion. Let, <laughs> let the energy convince you that this is of merit. And um, again, scalar energy cannot be impeded. It's a first cause. You, you cannot stop a, a fundamental force in nature. So it will, it will uh, arrive at its destination and it will produce the desired effect. It's like saying, well, I'm going to, I'm just going to not believe gravity is going to affect me. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. All right. Yeah. So people that all that will be in the show notes with your okay. website, scalarlight.com, your free 15 day you. trial. People can send email in their photographs, even of their pet. Like I said, I did that with my little Charlotte. And she's doing amazing, by the way. And uh, after the 15 day, then they have the option to continue a treatment plan, right? A right. That's or correct. Something? That, mm -hmm. That's correct. The, what I'm trying to do is introduce this to educate people. And the best way I believe to educate people is by giving away free sessions. Yes. You know, this has never been done before. My yes. approach is unique because my instruments are unique. And mm -hmm. hence, I have unique results. So all of that calls, calls to mind that you have to make this simple and palatable and easy. And that's the whole point with the 15-day trial. It's a simple approach. Sure is, painless. All right, Tom, this has been fascinating. Uh, any last thoughts, anything on your heart that you want to share before yeah. we close out the show today? I frequently tell people the mind, the human mind and the human heart are scalar energy vessels. <clears throat> Our mind projects scalar energy thoughts. Our heart, our emotions are scalar energy projections. So everybody is a scalar energy expert and everybody has control over their scalar energy disposition, over their scalar energy constitution. Think well, be of good heart, be of good cheer, and your life will be better for it. I love it. Like I say, thoughts, food, sound, shape, it's all information, all instructions to your body and your cells. So be peculiar in particular with what you expose yourself to. Tom Palladino, thank you so much you. for joining us today on Awakening Aphrodite. Would you like to support my mission to help empower people all over the world to be all of who they truly are? If so, please subscribe to the show, leave a review on iTunes and share it with a friend. And if you're looking to take immediate action to align your energy and optimize your health, visit amyfournier.com. Thanks for listening to Awakening Aphrodite. Let's awaken her together in you. I'm your hostess, Amy Fournier, and I already can't wait to be with you again and for you to hear what I have planned for the next show. Thanks for listening to Awakening Aphrodite with Amy Fournier. To learn more about Amy, check out her website, amyfournier.com. That's A-M-Y-F-O-U-R nier.com you can also check out amy's live and on-demand virtual fitness and yoga classes and sign up for her newsletter to receive a free mini ebook of three of her top tips for making holistic health a lifestyle again that's amyfournier.com and get your ebook sent to your email immediately 
Connect with Amy on the daily on Instagram at FitAmyTV, F-I-T-A-M-Y-T-V, and watch many of the podcast episodes and subtopic clips on her YouTube channel, which is also FitAmyTV. Enjoy, and we'll see you next time on Awakening Aphrodite.